Let's see if there's another PDA in here. Howdy, howdy, my good guy, I'm not gonna wait to turn over to more Subnautica! So, today, today, I managed not to top out the levels, just for the starter. Anyways, today, well, yesterday, we came to the island, okay, we were looking for, uh, we were looking for cool stuff, we found cool stuff, now we're up the island, um, we're trying to find more cool stuff, we scanned, uh, we can now create our habitat, I asked, oh, uh, we know better than to trust that tunnel. Or is that tunnel? Oh my goodness, there's so many tunnels up here, guys. We're just not going to trust any of them, okay? So anyways, uh, I was asking you guys where uh, you wanted me to build the uh, the base. Because, uh, well, we're going to build a base soon. Um, so for those of you guys who missed the past couple episodes of Subnautica, uh, there, was, uh, there was a new update. And in the new update, they made it so that you had to find the, the habitat thing. You no longer start with the habitat. You had to come to one of the uh, multiple... Oh, multiple abandoned sea bases to find it. Um, so we found it. Now we're heading up to uh, the little Tower of Terror to see if there's anything new. I doubt there is. There's been lots of cool new stuff, though. Uh, there's been... They added new... Um, they added new dialogue stuff uh, in the escape pods. This is pretty awesome. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's pull back up our, uh, our HUD real quick. We're going to scan... Whoops, not what I meant to do. We're going to do this one. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so, optimistically, we're not dropping any, any frames again. Uh, we've dropped frames in the past, and it's just because uh, the, the, my computer is um, is a great computer, but it's just it's a few years old. So, it's about a permanent lighting solution developed by an isolation, developed for isolation on ex existing habitats and facilities. Automatically rotates in a 180-degree arc. Motion sensor will track nearby mo moving objects, draws electricity from the main power. Cool! Very good. Bulkhead. Apparently, we need to scan that. Apparently, you need to scan everything. Um, I had no clue. They had more thing, or they take more things away from your uh, your basic base all the time until I'm guessing eventually you're gonna spawn with nothing, pretty much, or close to nothing. Um, okay, here we go. Potted plants. These are great. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have such an amazing farm. We have so we're gonna we're gonna have the best farm, the greatest farm even. Some people are gonna are gonna squeal with envy when they see our farm. Uh, speaking of farms, curiously enough. Uh, we have not, uh, we've not unlocked the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, the, the mobile vehicle bay. The mobile vehicle constructor? What's it called? Something like that. Anyways, we do not, do we do not currently have the ability to, uh, construct vehicles, which is a little weird. Okay, let's see, is this the same one? Uh, it won't work, Chief. Um, believe me, I'm thinking of it. I make the decisions. Uh, you two want to forfeit your commissions. So this is the same one where the, um... The, uh, the mercenary says we need to go under the water. Then, the, it's because the, the rain is coming and she thinks that this place is gonna, like, slip into the ocean. I think the other one is the one where they say that they, uh, they ended up going to the island, or they're going underwater and that they need somebody to come find them. I think. I'm unsure. But anyways, these ones don't look like they've been updated. We're gonna go in here. I doubt there's anything in here that I don't already have. But you know what? We're gonna scan it anyways. Why, you say? Because good guy Mike likes wasting your time. That's why. Uh, not as much as he likes wasting your time as when uh, I'm gonna have to keep a continual stream of consciousness going while we're swimming back to the base. Wait, swim back to the base, he says. You, uh, yes, you heard me correct. We're gonna have to swim back to the base, and we're gonna have to keep filming it, because, uh, I'm getting ready to, to go on a trip. Um, I'm going on a trip to Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia, for Dragon Con, of all things. Um, so, for those of you guys who are unfamiliar, I did, uh, let's see. Um, Fern Pond, Fern Pond, Lantern Fruit, we already have one of those, right? Let's just double check. We got two Lantern Fruit, whoops, wrong one. Um, we have, uh... There we go. So I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia for Dragon Con. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna be cool. Dragon Con is like one of the largest cons in the uh, the US. Uh, and because of that, the world. Um, I'm going there so for those of you guys who remember, I did BronyCon over the uh, the summer, right? With uh, with Duke and then some of the people uh, with Duke and Megan this year, and I've done it with uh, Duke, Megan and Leaf in the past. Um, and that's the oh, oh. Oh, we're gonna learn if they did. Okay, I was gonna say we're gonna learn if they added in fall damage finally. Um, so uh, yeah, I I went to BronyCon with uh, Duke, Megan, and uh, this year we didn't have our own um, we didn't have our own booth. We shared a booth with uh, with two vendors named Randy and Shayna, um, and they're they're amazing people. They're great friends of ours. Uh, is our Seamoth gonna have enough power to make? Okay, yes. Um, they're great friends of ours, um, and so they needed extra help. To uh, 
Um, oh boy, getting some frame drop there. They needed some extra help to uh, to help run their booth at DragonCon because DragonCon is a huge convention. The booth alone cost um, like twenty one hundred bucks or something like that. Or it's, I don't know, don't quote me on that. But it's a couple thousand dollars. It's uh, it's an expensive booth considering that most booths, uh, vendors booths like at BurningCon, they cost about three hundred, four hundred bucks um, for a normal booth. So we'll see. Hold on one second. I'm gonna take a sip of this water. Mmm, mmm, water. So they uh, they need an extra person to help them run the booth because two people in the booth is not going to do it. Um, we did a fantastic job working with them during the, the BronyCon. And uh, so they, they decided to employ us once again. Uh, but it's just me this time going over there to to visit them. And also, at the same breath, I'm looking for more convention experience. Because uh, for those of you guys who do not know, I had a uh, an internship with a company called EcoGeek. And EcoGeek, that was when I, I ran the social media page for Serial Time. Serial Time uh, being a like a morning talk show on YouTube uh, that is... Uh, that's run out of the UK, and so EcoGeek is the company that does that, but they're also the company that runs VidCon, and EcoGeek is amazing. For those of you guys who, who don't know uh, much about business, there's what's called in business uh, what's called company culture. Company culture is essentially how a company feels. Um, so every every group of friends is different, right? The dynamic in every group of friends is different. Um, some jokes fly with a group of friends. You know, some jo- uh, friend groups like you know dirty humor. Some friend groups don't. And it's the same thing goes for a company. Um, some companies are okay with people showing up without a tie. Some people want tie every single day. Things like that. Uh, that's called company culture. Now it also includes things like how people interact with uh, their with their. Uh, superiors, how they um, they interact with like interns, how they interact with the general public, stuff like that. Eco Geeks company culture is amazing. I I've never experienced a business that was as was as awesome as uh, Eco Geeks was, and so as such, I uh, I really want to um, be a member of their company. Um, I have really high hopes. I uh, now which one of these batteries are dead? None of these batteries are dead, amazingly. Um, so, I really, I really want to be a member of... We're going to go try and find the mobile vehicle bay now. Um, I really want to be a member of their company. Um, because uh, it, I just fit in. It was a lot of fun. Everybody that I worked with was super awesome. So, I applied for that job, and I, I got turned down due to a lack of experience. Which is fair. And that's, that's twofold. You know, that's... Uh, one part of it is that I haven't gotten my college degree yet. I'm going into my last year of college. And if they'd hired me then, it was like a starting immediately position, so I wouldn't have gotten my degree. And so they want me to have, you know, a college degree um, to, to do this job. And you know, I could I could have taken night classes and stuff like that, but you know, there's always there's a lot of there's a lot of things. You know, life happens. There's a reason why a lot of people are running around with uh, you know, with um, you know, three, you know, with five eighths of a degree. It's because they uh, you know, they start a job. They're gonna take night classes. Night classes are tough. It's hard to work forty hours a week and take school. And so you know, things start to fall between the cracks. And soon, you know, uh, twenty years has gone by and they still haven't graduated college. And so EcoGeek didn't want that to happen to me. Um, and then the other side of it is, you know, I can understand that they want me to have, that's a, that's a new pod, isn't it? They want me to have more experience. Um, let's see if there's another PDA in here. Oh man, check this out. So, what is this? That's a Sea Glide fragment. Not what I'm looking for, but okay. Um, banded PDA. What the heck? Did that one not have something on it? That's the storm. Okay, uh, codes, life pods. Uh, recording number, yet yeah, uh, left the robot bay. Don't sweat. Unize layer of armor. Try distracting. Huh? Interesting. That one didn't. That kind of sucks. That one didn't have any uh, cool stuff like attached to it, like a cool story. Huh? Interesting. Um. So, uh, but yeah. So I'm trying to essentially. I'm trying to get as many conventions under my belt as possible. And so this is a this is a great experience, uh, great uh, work experience for me. It also doesn't hundred percent work out for me. It sort of works out interesting um, because you know I have to. It's the, during the first week of school, which sucks. So that means that I'm gonna miss a handful of days of certain classes. And once you get to my level of schooling, it's like if you miss more, if you miss three classes or more in a class, you just you start dropping letter grades, uh, and then you know. As uh, I'm not a 4.0 student traditionally, so I need all the letter grades I can get. Um, 
And so, or they, you know, you miss three and they just fail you automatically. Things like that, which sucks. But, I mean, I, I can understand why they do it. Um, and if they, you know, they bend the rules for me, and then they have to bend the rules for somebody else, and how do they know they're not lying? But, yeah, uh, the other side of it is that I have a, um, I have an interview for another internship. This one that's more close to my, uh, um, close to my major, that I, you know, I would really like to work with this company. I've, I have a friend who works with the company, Riley, and she, um, she, you know, recommended me for the internship position. It's an awesome, it's a paid internship. The company, once again, the company culture I've heard is fantastic. Uh, and so that is, that's only like a couple hours. So I got to make sure that I get onto that. Now, do I just have the Noombao vehicle bay and I just didn't just take this chance to look for it? We have the Seamoth unlocked. Um, sea Glide. Do we have mobile vehicle bay? I don't think so. It doesn't look like we do. Then, did they move the mobile vehicle bay fragments? Because I'm not spotting any fragments in here, guys. Which is a, a touch frustrating. That I would discover the uh, the ingredients for the Seamoth before I discovered the mobile vehicle bay. Um, whoa. Holy Creole. This, oh, okay. This is the one of the caves underneath the... The safe shallows. We gotta be careful in here. We're gonna die if we're not careful. Uh, this is a touch frustrating, but yeah. So that's everything that's going on in my life. Uh, and something I wanted to ask you guys: Would you be interested in me doing um, doing my 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 vlogs again? Uh, I did vlogs uh, for my trip to Wales, and some of you guys really liked them. Some people couldn't care less. Sand shark, huh? Yeah, or bone shark. Pardon me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and outrun that. Uh, some of you guys were interested in my, my journeys while I was in Wales. Some of you guys, less than interested. So, are you guys, uh, s do some of you guys want to see, like, what I do and, um, what I'm up to when I'm in, uh, okay, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna just, we're just gonna keep complaining. Um, because if you are, I would love to. I'd love to do the vlogs. They're a lot of fun. It was. It's interesting, you know. Whenever I get to uh, to really challenge myself and uh, push myself in a different direction than you what I'm comfortable with, uh, and I, it's, I feel like you know, so much of my content is like not necessarily the same, quote unquote, the same. But it is, you know, it's uh, it's gaming content, and so there's a lot of it out there, you know. Um, and basically, you know, I, I sit down and I talk about my life while I'm playing a different game, and then I interact when something goes wrong, you know? But, uh, boy, this is a, a, a touch frustrating that I can't seem to find this, uh, this mobile vehicle bay fragments. Um, so if you guys, well, the long and short of it is, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, if you guys are also interested in seeing, like, if I'm, I catch some rare Pokemon, because I've been playing Pokemon Go like nobody's business, really enjoying it. I'm more than halfway through the Pokedex. I'm about three quarters of the way through the Pokedex. Um, so if you guys want to see, like, you know, any cool Pokemon that I find, uh, let me know, and I will oblige you. I will happily oblige you. Um, I'm kind of curious if we're going to get attacked by the Sea Wench while we're out here. Since we are definitely ill-equipped to deal with the Sea Wench at the moment. Um, I'm kind of hoping that... I, I mean... I know it's a long shot. I'm kind of hoping that there's a... There's like a fragment on the... the oh, look. A little bit of uranium. Sure. Oh, listen to that. It's got... They added another uh, little sound bite. Can we not climb on this island anymore? Wow, did they just make this thing a giant rocky crag? Like, just made it seriously just shooting out of the water? Maybe there's something up there. <gasps> Maybe they're trying to hide it from me. Maybe that's that's why it's such a rocky crag. It's got, like, a secret entrance. Um, Maybe I'm just hopeful. Ooh, that's a sea wench. Yep, I can hear it way off in the distance. Um, optimistically, it does not come up towards me. There we go. Sea wench. First sea wench of the new playthrough. Um, good. We're going to go ahead pop up on the island. Um, optimistically avoiding the sea wench altogether. Stay back, sea wench! Um, now, I know that our chances of us finding anything useful on... Oh, that's a basalt? Really? Hey, gold! Oh, we need basalt so we can make the welder! Because when we can make the welder, we can go and, uh... Um... Are these rocks? What are these? Well, if we get, uh... Um, diamond. We need the diamond so we can get the welder. Uh, and the diamond is actually in the basalt. Uh, okay. Hey, look at there's those little flying things. Can I catch you? Catch you! Catch you! Oh, I almost got him. I don't think I can catch him. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I would like to catch them and then release them in my base. 
me see. Yeah, they look like they're pretty uncatchable. Okay, unfortunate. Um, anything cool on this base or on this? It would it would surprise me if there wasn't something cool on here. I mean, considering they changed the architecture of the island, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it just it's been ages since I've been on this island. I usually go straight to the floating island because the last couple times I've been to this island, there's been nothing. Um, and I went here like that update when they added the buildings to the other island. I came here and there was still nothing. What? Why is this all dark like this? Okay, it's just a wall. It's just eerily dark for some reason. That's a little bizarre. Okay. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything on here. There's a cool sandy beach, though. Uh, this might actually be a cool area to build my base. I'm thinking... What if we... Because we haven't, we haven't ever built on land. There we go! Diamond! Perfect! What if we build on land, guys? What if we uh, decide to set up our base in here? Ooh, check this out. Because there's this whole underground area that we could check out. Super cool. All right. I think it's decided. I think we're going to have to build our base on land. Um, so we're going to build on the... Uh, oh, okay. Get out of my face. We're going to build on the, uh, the this this rocky island. Boy, I do dislike the fact that I have to turn down the, um, the visuals so low that it causes issues like that. But whatever. Um, beggars can't be choosers. Inventory's full. What is that? Is that gold? Um, what can I drop? Drink another water. That is gold. Okay. Lots of gold. Um, let's see. We're going to need lots of titanium. That might be a bit of a pain in the butt to get. Not too bad, though. Um, let's see. Oh, we got all those Mr. Body Juniors over here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and we will have to watch out for our sea wench. But, uh, yeah, I think that... Uh, you know what? I think we're... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the trigger on this one. We're going to build on the, uh, the rocky crag. Why not? Why not? Um, do you want to build on the far side of the, the the side that's facing away from the Aurora? Or, um, I think we have to, right? I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. I think that it'll be interesting with the, the mix of elevations and stuff like that. So one of the downsides, though, is that uh, we still have not unlocked the mobile vehicle bay. So even though we're going to go back into the Aurora and we're going to bust in and, um, you know, uh, kick some kick some booties and stuff like that and scan the prawns, we're still not going to be able to build a prawn because we don't have the mobile vehicle bay. Maybe we do. I'll double check. Maybe I'm just an idiot. That I mean, that's... We've established on multiple occasions that I'm an idiot. But the question is, is... Am I that much of an idiot? Why would they add the... Why would they have something that you've never had before and then give it to you? Maybe because they added the prawn suit, and so they want people to not have to look for it? That seems like a little bit ba uh, backwards logic, though. Yeah? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. We will find out here soon. So, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna keep our eyes open um, for any fragments. There's been an oddly low number of fragments in this game. I gotta comment on that. Um... Maybe they they wanted to increase the difficulty, and so they took away or they hid the uh, mobile vehicle bay fragments somewhere. That seems like a I don't know. It seems like a a poor choice, if I say so myself. Because it's I don't know. Like, it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna need lots of titanium to start setting up our base over there. Um. Uh, let's go ahead. and Change out our battery. Find a fully powered one. Good deal. There's, there's titanium that's not too far away from our base. From our base that's over there. And plus, once we get the Cyclops going, or once we actually get the Prawn, I think the Prawn has uh, um, spots, uh, like inventory spots on it, as well as we can use, uh, we can go mine resources. And we can go, ha uh, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat with the, uh, with the, what do you call it? The, um, the Sea Wench. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm also curious... I wonder if it's going to allow you to grind up, uh, like, ship scrap, um, for that sort of stuff. Okay, um, let's go ahead and store this one, take this one, store this one, take this one, store this one, take this one, 100, 100, 100, 100, okay, fantastic, we have full energy, let's go ahead, uh, go into our ore box, drop those in there. Um, drop the lithium in there. The crystal will go in another one. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops, we want to hold on to two batteries. Crystal. We'll put the uranium in there. We're going to take two two of those. Put that in there. Um, do we have any titanium so we can build a... How many does it take to build a... Um, what do you call it? 
let's see. Let's go five. How much does it take to build a, a little pot like this so I can get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory? There we go. Okay, let's plant the... Let's plant the Bulbo. Because the Bulbo gives us water, and water's currently the thing that we need the most. Um, okay. Let's go ahead. We got enough inventory slots. We got our scanner. We got a bunch of batteries. And oh my goodness, we're out of time for this day's episode. Oh, the cruel, cruel irony. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Come back for uh, the next episode. Next episode, we're going to be going back into the Aurora. And we're going to be uh, um, getting the, uh, what do you call it? We're going to be getting, we're going to be scanning the prawn. So anyways, you guys, keep you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye!